Hello and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and sharing this now moment with myself and with one another. For those of you who haven't seen these videos before, welcome and welcome back if you have. Um, again, my uh, sincerest gratitude to everyone who has been um, commenting and sharing these videos and just spending this now moment with myself and with one another. Um, I'm really appreciative and I'm, I'm just... Um, in my heart and just uh, so grateful for all of you. Um, I want to just say briefly, I'm doing my best to, um, you know, respond to emails and set up session work and, and all of that. So thank you. Um, as many of you know, I, I teach yoga and I do many other things, not just this. So if I haven't gotten back to you right away, it's not because I've ignored or um, not wanted to respond to your emails or questions. I, I'm just uh, working at the highest rate that I can, uh, that, I'm, that I am able to right now. And this will all be changing in the next course of the next few months. I'm setting up a new platform. So just to make it easier on everyone um, as well as myself. Um, so having said that, thank you again. If you have questions, um, I do try to respond very quickly on YouTube versus my blog, which I, um, I've been updating less and less frequently. That will be changing again as well because I have so much to, to post on my blog. So you can always check out my website and send me a message through there because I do get it via email. I just didn't realize I was getting it through email until recently. So thank you for those um, questions. And again, if I haven't addressed your question, I'm working on it um, to the best of my higher guidance team ability. So um, I just did a video talking a lot about um, polarity and just things in the field that we're balancing. But for my intention right now is just to go into a little um, sharing and a little light language, perhaps a message to, um, you know, <laughs> anchor these energies that are coming in strong today. Um, today is the 14th. I'm not sure when this video will be posted. So just breathing in and out. I can, I uh, command this space and I um, request and intend that this be for the highest benevolence for all only in alignment with the highest levels of love lights. おえききあここえてえてなここおしててあここあなえあいなおことえてなここあここのえてなててなここあおこてえてなここあしててにきにあたあここのえてねてなこのこのこのわでねてなきなここあしててにあていてしててにあたであし
kurroru kurraha tiistara harrak astara hak orra. Los tista kiana. And as our solar plexus is fully activated, as we fully come on to uh, come on to the line, come on line, come on to the line. I'm seeing reference to lion. I'm seeing reference to um, the sun. Our solar activity is increasing for our benefits, for our greatest benefactors, for our previous benefactors, for our future benefactors, for the benefits and the beneficiary, for the benefit of all, for the benevolence of all. For the relevance of what we are doing is showing itself in the fields, in the interruptions that we are having in the interruptions the quaking that is felt in the bones of all that is in the earth frequencies in the in the body all celebrates at this reunion with Source, with these energies that have been reaching out to us, uh, from us, for us, for eons. As your transmitters fire up, as your conduits do it, <laughs> I'm hearing we can do it. We are doing it. Can do it. Do ku kuste istek ista ak u kuastak in hit ik ista ak estak istek enak ak ak anak ak ak anak ak anak ak anak ak 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 anak ak ak anak ak ak anak ak 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 anak ak 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 anak ak 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 anak ak 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 anak. Guys, I know this sounds funny. I ask you to be open-hearted and open-minded when you peer, maybe feel these frequencies. Hak 
Gör eşte ki kenna hak aşte ki ki da ak o kursta hashtag ik eşte ak ana. Just breathing in and out, guys. I'm being reminded that if you are inspired to move in a certain way, if that's your intention to connect with these higher energies, I'm being invited to remind you that our brothers and sisters that are working in other dimensions do not sound like us sometimes. They don't move like us, okay? The energy moves, it's fluid. Oftentimes we get stuck in our body, right? We get stuck in a certain way of moving. And so it feels uh, foreign to us. And as we know, many of the ways that we have been taught are I'm being guided. We're going to go into a little play on words right now on that. But for rain, for rain, for rain, you know, it's not about, it's about being open-hearted and open-minded and coming from this place of, you guys might start feeling things. You might start saying words that don't sound normal. <laughs> you might be, like, spiraling like I'm doing right now. Right? You might start wanting to have dry heaves as energy comes out of you. You might start burping all day long. You might have the hiccups. <laughs> Think of it as a dial-up. You know, like when you fax machine, when you go to fax something. Remember, anybody remember faxes? If you're really young, you probably don't, but that's okay. It's a dial-up, but I don't even remember dial-up. Binary code. So sometimes these sounds are meant to get me into a different frequency. It's meant to sound so that my mouth and my tones and my vocal cords tune into that frequency so that can come through. Just breathing in and out, and I'm just asking for a clearing of all frequencies that are non benevolent for all now. Tishti kiki a kuno eshti ana kinta hasta. Ishti kiki niki ana kia ana. No e na 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 e Just breathing in and out. I'm hearing, remember who you are, children of the light. I hear a lot of I hear a lot of English when this comes through. I just don't say it sometimes because the light language is coming through so strong. I'm hearing reach out your feelers. Don't have such codependency on uh the language or codependency on having to understand things logically in English or whatever language it is that you speak, whatever your primary language is, because there are so many languages out there 
um, and remembering that we're opening our telepathic doors of communication and telepathy and all of these other gifts of uh, co claircognizance, clairaudience, clairvoyance is not spoken necessarily in a dialect that you might uh, think it is. Feel what it is. Interpreting from an open belief system is more advanced than interpreting from a tunnel. <laughs> a tunnel. A tunnel vision. So we're just moving a lot of energies around right now, guys, in case you didn't notice. Oh, Breathing. Breathing is so important, obviously. But it's so important to recognize when you're not breathing. Take a deep breath in, and then a long exhale. Dusta <laughs> Again, that movement of energy wants to move through the body. So sometimes we're guided to shake. It, we just want to get it flowing. Sometimes we're guided to spin. Um, sometimes our heads will move. Lots of movement up the spine, kundalini right now, um, prana life force. Focusing on the breath. It's like I'm doing a little shimmy. It's, it's, it's the light workers dance move. <laughs> right? Was that twist and shout? Fast domino? No, I don't know. Chubby checker. Twist and shout. Oh, how funny. <laughs> Sorry. The multidimensionality. Sometimes we get into different places. Just jumped into some other time zones here. Oh, the kin, 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 the So I'm hearing just because you don't understand it does not make it real. Doesn't mean that it's not real. As we make real what it is that is uh, in our imagination or in manifest, in manifest, we make through, we make through, we make through, we make through. So we're making through one another these energies, these frequencies, these collapsing of old timelines that no longer suit us. Uh, they no longer, um, I just had a session with a beautiful light worker and I saw them putting on different suits. Now I'm seeing this as a message for the collective in a different way that these old suits that we were wearing that don't fit us anymore, take them off. We're shedding old skin. We're going to feel that they don't fit anymore. We're going to feel itchy in our old skin. We're going to feel weird in conversations that we didn't used to feel weird in. <laughs> Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Hearing frozen. Let it go. 
The more fluid we are, the more fluid we feel, the more fluid we become, the more we flow in and through all of these um, perceived entrapments. Take the traps off, remove the entanglements, for they are no longer necessary in order for you to embark on the journey that you came here to embark on. You are already on that journey, beautiful light workers. You are already in that suit. You may not understand that you are because you stand within a holding pattern that you have sank into, sank, sank, sunk into, but sank. Say in key, sa in key. So we're singing in a key, we're singing in a tone. The stack of course, the city, 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 the Calming. Oh, the kini ti 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 be communicating in, be commingling in, be commingling and communicating within the frequency that you wish to divinate the divine nation of you, the divine nation of oneness, the divine nation you are becoming, that you have been, that you are becometh. Those that are iti, those that are at iti, those that are kiki, those that are kusti kini, those that are kusti iti iti. Ista akene at akoa o kua te tit ana haku kushte te tit ista aki kine kine kikot o kuku no ista kine ana. Your joy is accompanied, accompanied, accompaniment. Dosta ista kine ista ista kine ista ista kushte kiti kiti ista ista. With all of these aspects that you behold, that you behold before you, for you are in all things. You are resounding, resonating, resounding the frequency. I'm hearing the trumpet sound. I'm hearing like the I'm seeing like the walls of Jericho falling down, right? They fell down because of harmonics reasons. We offer you light through your soul, solar, solar frequencies, through your channels that you are tuning into, that you are turning into. <laughs> For you are free, we rejoice in thee. All of these tones, all of these frequencies light it up. They light up the grid in which you are sitting in. They light up the grid which you are feeling. They light up the grid that you are um, communicating through. I'm seeing the internet. I'm seeing the, the computer. I'm seeing the phones. I'm seeing all electronics. For the electronics are even firing in a different frequency. The way that we will be forming and communicating is forming and changing. There is much to be learned from this cycle. There is much information we are trading with right now that we are training in, that we are in training, that we are in training. Plan words, multiple 
multi-definitions here. So as we embody these frequencies, we then bring forward and bring forth all of these recognitions, recognitions, brain is firing, and electrons are firing, as above, so below. So as this physically happens, and the components, components of the body, the computations are rewired, reconnected, um, some are fizzling out, so that the, some can creating a new infrastructure, a new dynamo, a new diamond, a new frequency that is now interlaying, interweaving with the old frequencies and all that is not is fizzling away. I see it like, but what does it do before it melts? It fizzles. So there's a lot of sparkling going on. There's a lot of a discomfort in the electrical fields right now, possibly. I'm hearing a lot of ringing in the ears. I'm seeing a lot of people seeing spots. I'm seeing sparkles. I'm seeing people feel like their brain and their their crown of their head is lighting up. I'm seeing people getting heart palpitations. Um, lots of strange anomalies. Um, I'm seeing, okay, so I'm being guided to share auroras. I, I keep seeing auroras where you're not supposed to see auroras, right? A stripe in the sky in different colors. People are seeing sparkles at night. People are waking up and these electronic um, energies that are coming through. So this is physical. This is what we're seeing with our eyes, but it's also happening in our third eye, in our hearts, in our entire body. So if you think of your body as a map, or you think of your body, let's pretend I am Mother Earth because I am, so are you. And within Mother Earth, I have the blood, which is the cranial sacral fluid, which is the oil. I have the crystals, which are in the ears, they're the transmitters, they're in the body, in the bones, right, which is a lattice work, right? I have the water in my body, like the oceans and the rivers, right? So I also have the chemical compounds that make up my skin, um, the electric energy like the lightning right and the ley lines that are in the earth um, that have been connected or we might call them nadis right n-a-d-i-s or meridians in the earth they're in my body so as these electrons are stimulated as the electrical impulses are stimulated I'm visualizing earth in my human body trying to give you guys a connection sorry guys I'm in flow right now right lots of energies coming through so I'm um, sorry not sorry <laughs> so as these energies come through um, you know the lightning comes through and it's like boom you get this spark and all of a sudden all of this discord gets lit up the shadow aspect is revealed so that we can be like hey I know you I love you get in here give me a hug let's integrate you it lights up and then the shadow aspect goes Ah, oh no, they saw me. Whole other sidebar here. And it wants to be seen though, <laughs> whether it realizes it or not. So that's a whole other ball of wax. But so we've got these electrical impulses. Now, this is the earth, right? The, the earth is getting it too. So as I move and I want to shake and I want to move, the earth wants to move and shake too, right? I want to drink lots of water. The earth needs to cleanse with rain, with ice, with all of that. Um, as I feel these electrical stimulations, Lightning is happening on the earth, right? And the um, energy centers in the earth, these portals, these vortexes are much more active now as as well as um, possibly volcanic um, activity as well. Uh, that's the heat. But I'm also seeing that reference, reference to more of the oil, which is the cranial sacral fluid somewhat of Mother Earth, right? In this spin, in this energy. So we're still moving energy around as I speak, by the way, guys. And so as this energy is uh, reference to like the wind and the air, right, the aethers, all of the chemical elements that are in our body, that are in our structure, in our cells. And I'm also having reference to um, all of this is kind of spinning together, in other words, um, and changing. It's all changed, you guys. Um, I'm having reference to spider, piezo, piezoelectricity. I'm having reference to polar dynamics, polar, polar dyna dynamics, polaris dynamics. I'm having reference to, okay, so I saw Mother Earth, and as, as Mother Earth is going through all this, this is also being expressed in the social, political, economic, sexual, uh, which is social. Um, it, uh, the everything, 
So there's a reason the computers aren't working right, guys. There's a reason that all this stuff is happening. Everything's being shaken up. Everything's being stirred up. Everything's being cleansed. Everything's being ignited so that it can be re-plugged in with a more... Uh, I'm seeing a lot of this sludge being wiped away. I did a, another video today. It talked about scrubbing those energies. When you scrub something, that gets a little red and it gets irritated. But then it helps get off that old dead skin so that the new can grow and the epidermis can be connected. I'm having lots of reference to fascia right now. So I love the whole fascial network system. But our fascia is just like, drink a lot of water, guys. Give myofascial release if you can right now. Rub, um, roll out your feet on soft, um, like there's these uh, yoga balls that you can buy. Um, tennis balls, fine. You don't have to go out and buy some fancy thing. But the melt method is really good. And also there's these yoga balls called yoga tune-up balls that I work with clients on uh, using to help hydrate their fascia. This is just a big message coming through about the physical because it's going to help of this rewiring in the body. Our fascia is this neuroelectrical transmitter that essentially channels information. It works faster than the brain. So we talk about in heart math, we, I'm not a heart math, but I, I love heart math. So I talk about the heart brain connection, but the fascia knows faster than the brain. It's like this whole other independent system that is essentially hugs everything. So it's almost like it's a, net, it's a network. And again, it's like the God particle. And I say that with love, the source particle, whatever you want to call it that. The fascia is this spider web of energy of, of, of uh, I'm seeing it. I just, it's hard to explain. Think of bubble gum. Bubble gum, it covers you underneath your skin. It encases all your muscles, all your organs. Your brain is covered with it. They don't know where it doesn't have an ending and it doesn't have a beginning. Hmm, does that sound, <laughs> sound interesting? So the fascia is like this amazing neural network pathway and it's lighting up right now, you guys. You're going to feel it possibly in the fingertips. You're going to feel it. You might get numbness or tingling in, in different body parts. So just being aware of that. The earth's fascia is also uh, resourcing itself right now. So it's reconnecting to source. And it's creating this stronger establishment with source, a stronger communication so that it can assist in um, communication. So I'm seeing the fascia, like there were parts that were plugged up in our fascia. There's parts that are plugged up in the earths as well. So it needs to be hydrated. So I'm, I've been taught, you know, think of a sponge. If you go to pour water on a sponge, it overflows and the sponge doesn't really absorb it if it's dry. But if the fascia is hydrated, it can hold more water. So it's the same idea that the rain, right, if you have a drought, and then it rains and the, the land is parched, right? Um, it can't hold the water and there's nowhere for it to go. So it causes flash floods and erosion and all of that. So we're getting a hydration in the earth. And that's part of what all the snow is about, all of the ice crystals. Because once it, it allows this um, absorption of energy is what I'm seeing. It allows this layer to get through the epidermis of the earth and a little deeper than it was able to get before so that that fascia that's underneath the skin of the earth can be hydrated so that the communication can be enhanced from one portal to another, from one energy point to another. Because we have all these portals in us, our nadis, our meridians, our chakras, so to speak. I, I also saw that as totally shifting right now. I saw a lot of people with this new stuff that's coming through those chakras are not separate anymore. I'm seeing this real beautiful marriage between the chakras and this rainbow frequencies happening more and more to people to where they're not just in their sacral. They're not completely dominated by over-sexuality or under-sexuality or their heart is wide open, but they have no willpower. You know, we're seeing this connection between these energy centers, which is part of what all of us are doing. Um, all healers help with that. All light workers. Um, you know, you can do it through Reiki, energy healing, right, um, massage, et cetera, et cetera. 
So, um, so I'm seeing the earth and these energy centers in the earth are like lighting up. Okay. And wherever you are, I talked with a lot of people that I work with, and I've been told this before too, you are where you're supposed to be. So we're helping, let's say, anchor that energy. Let's say you're in, um, <laughs> my cranial sacral, um, teacher was a physical therapist and he calls no offense against you Orlando people because Orlando's got so many amazing light workers there you guys for a reason he calls Orlando the armpit so the energy cyst of the of Florida <laughs> or of the United States there's certain energy cysts okay so in cranial sacral um, an energy cyst let's say you you're hit and you fall and that energy goes out and it ends in like, let's say you hit your tailbone, but you have it, it ends in your hip, it gets stuck there. You also feel it in your upper back, it gets stuck there, and it radiates down the middle of the leg and gets stuck there. So when you do energy work, cranial sacral specifically, or myofascial release, it helps move that energy, energy cyst out so it can actually be uh, transmuted or better yet integrated into the rest of the body and doesn't sit there and, and fester, right? So um, it's not just the point of entry where the wound was. It's also all of those other pits. Uh, I'm seeing pits that it made. So, you know, that were affected from it. So earth, for example, has had tr a tremendous amount of trauma in certain places where the civil war was, um, where all of the places are, you know, all the wars happening in Iraq, all of the, um, you know, the, the wars in, the, in Ireland, um, all of the pr religious persecution, um, all of the um, timelines associated with those are still held within that fascial network, right, within the neural network, just like they are in our body, okay? So you've got your, we're clearing that. So is the earth, and we're helping one another to do it. So all you light workers that are in Orlando, for example, call, we'll say an energy cyst area, you are really even, you know, connected. You're helping to clear that as well as what I'm seeing. So it's really important that all of us are staying hydrated and taking self-care right now because the earth is like, all right, guys, it's time. Let's do this. <laughs> and um, if you guys watched my video the other day, I was talking about cotton candy. It was called Sovereignty. There were three videos, I think, that I did. Again, that's that black energy that's coming up that's helping that those cysts are being, like, exposed. And the fascia is now, a, a, there's a new system that's being connected so that those, those can be rewired. So those energy cysts were, like, timelines that were um, usurped, for example. Now the fascia is waking up, and um, I guess I'm going to have to do a video on this too. And it's essentially sending out these energy frequencies into the field. And so it's like now where the brain of the earth and the, the tailbone or the sacral of the earth weren't communicating as well as they could, or the heart of the earth, right? Um, now those keys have all been lit up. Now they're just being reconnected. Not that they weren't connected before. It's just a different type of connection. It's a more hydrated, a more flowing connection where we have the electrical connected to the water, connected to the elements, connected to the elementals, connected to the sun. And I'm seeing this as reestablishing a connection to all of the planets because the earth has these beautiful connections to the planets that assist her in rebirthing and it assists them. It's this beautiful connection that was not necessarily as uh, there before. It was like it was just shut down. I'm seeing everything just like the power was off and silent. And then we heard these pings going out you know, for, for, for years. And now it's like everything's, it's like turning back on all these. I see this, this whole thing going, lighting up, lighting up, lighting up. Okay. So hold. <laughs> Guys, I have to laugh. Um, is it Game of Thrones? Odador, Odador, right? I don't want to give it away if you guys haven't gotten to that episode. So I won't talk about what, that relationship is to um, the kid, right? The, the three-eyed raven in the Game of Thrones and his guardian, so to speak, 
why and how he became his guardian, it's like we're starting to see, oh, that's why I'm here. I'm here to hold the door. Oh, the door, whatever it's called. I'm here to, he's called. Um, you guys, you Game of Thrones people out there know what I'm talking about. So um, we're here to hold that energy. We're here to be like, oh, that's why we came here. Light it up. Share that love. Be that divine spark. Swirl those energy fields. Plant those crystals. Do that artwork. Sing that song. Share with your brothers and sisters. Um, start getting into that mathematical problem that you weren't able to solve before. Work with those algorithms that you maybe felt like you couldn't open up before. Connect with the earth. Um, set your intention to connect with the fibers and the my, uh, the fascia of the body, okay? And essentially connect with <laughs> your own fascia, your own neural network through the heart, not the head. Little, I do see the gray matter of the brain really coming online as well, which is a whole other video that I did, but we're going to end on that note. Whoo! This is a very energized video, as you can tell. Woo! Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Drink a lot of water. You might feel super energized. You might feel super tired. It's all good. Honor your body. Honor what's going on. You might be seeing, I'm, I'm guiding to talk about people having, um, for me, it was like my, my tongue was plugged into a light socket. I thought maybe I was having, uh, I'll do a video. I've been asked to do a video about how and what I experienced up to this point and, and how I got here. But I was going through some serious, um, it, we'll call them, I don't want to call them symptoms anymore because that assumes that that kind of leads to that point that something's wrong. It's openings. It's openings. So I thought something was wrong with me neurologically when all of this started fi firing because certain things that weren't connected properly were misfiring, right, is what it feels like for a lot of people. So for those of you guys out there that have chemical imbalances, you know, really love yourself right now. For those of you who know people, friends, family, whatever, that have chemical imbalances or uh, personality disorders or ADHD, you guys know who you are. Send each other a little love right now. Let's support one another because it can fire these frequencies and we might think, holy cow, I'm losing it. No, you're just getting lighter. You're being lit up. You're being, um, your fascia is like, bing, online. And so when we go multidimensional, sometimes we think we're going a little bit crazy. And for those of you who have been diagnosed with personality disorder or um, some type of um, bipolar, all of that, it, it can feel really powerful in these certain um, spatial references, is what they're telling me. So these places where we would usually connect to, it might we, not, we might not be connecting in the same way that we were before. And so sometimes it can throw us for a loop, is what they're showing me. And what it can do is throw us into a time loop where we're like, oh no, here we go again, I'm going crazy. <laughs> or, and I say this with love, guys. Or, oh no, here we go again. Try to stay out of fear. You know, if you're feeling fear, I feel fearful right now. Um, source energy, please show me love. Um, help me to anchor these energies. Help me to ground these frequencies. Again, eat a lot of root vegetables. I'm going to obviously, I'm all over the place. So as soon as I get done with this, I'm going to go sit down and have some potatoes. Um, you know, have some things that help to ground you. I'm going to put my feet outside barefoot. Um, I've been telling uh, some of my clients that I've been working with who can't, who are, Don't float away. Put your hands in the dirt. Connect with the plant. Connect with the crystal. In love and light, you guys. I'm um, so excited. Mm -hmm. Namaste. And so it is.